Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the College Express Podcast. My name is Tyler, and as always, I am joined with Kara, Mackenzie, and our new special guest of the day, Brendan. Whoop, whoop. So, Brendan, if you want to do me a solid and tell me all about what you do here at Carnegie and where you went to school. So, I know it's the Stanley Cup there, Tyler, so I'm going to come out with a nice hockey reference. I'm basically your third line center, the checking line. Right. I'm doing all the back end stuff, digital advertising specialist. I get down to the nitty gritty. I'm doing all those campaign stuff for our clients. So that's me. And I went to uh, Bentley University. Right. Shout out. Shout out to Bentley. So thank you for joining us. Uh, today we're going to be talking all about soaking up the sunshine, what you want to do in the summer. So you're going to see a whole slew of stuff provided by Kara. And so Kara went out on a binge, which was awesome. And we have all these great props, so they'll be sitting at our desk. I like decorating. <laughs> yes. Uh, so if you don't know the rigmarole already, uh, this podcast goes out the first week of every month. It's released in segments, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. There are four questions. We answer one a day. On the last day, Friday, you can get the entire thing as one giant podcast. And if you like it, subscribe. If you don't, don't do anything. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll jump right into it. So our first question this week is, how much college research did you do during the summer before your senior year of high school? And that's from Instagram, Owen.Travis underscore. Um, I did, I want to say, a decent amount of college research because that point I had gone on a few tours, done a few open houses, and the really important thing to me was that I had gone to the Young Writers Conference, which I think I talked about last time or maybe a couple podcasts ago. Um, which was a conference at Champlain where students got to go and I got to meet the faculty and um, basically just be on campus. I got to stay over and sort of get into the college life. So I wanted to see more about the different schools that I was applying to and sort of understand what I was getting into, how it compared to my experience with Champlain. And I know it wasn't like a legitimate college thing uh, because it wasn't actual college classes. It was just little seminars, but I really liked that. So I, that kind of kicked me into high gear. I also wanted to narrow down the list of school, the list of schools I was applying to. I still had like, I, when I was a freshman in high school, I was like, I'm going to Pepperdine. Hmm. And that never ended up in my application list. <laughs> but even that summer I was still like, I'm going to Pepperdine or I'm going to apply to Pepperdine. And I did not because I had done more research into it and they like, they're a good school, but they make you go to services every Sunday. And I was like, I don't even believe in that religion. So, no, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was kind of me kicking it into high gear. I don't know. How did you guys do research? Are you from Vermont? No, Boston. Boston? Yeah. Or Champlain, where's that at? That's up in Burlington, Vermont, but oh, okay. I left to go there. She had enough of Boston. <laughs> and then I came back. <laughs> and then she realized her mistake. Yeah. When you get up to Burlington, you do realize that kind of mistake. Love oh. you, Burlington. <laughs> it's a great place Shout out. to visit. <laughs> to visit, yeah. No, I, think, I uh, just visited there. Did you? Yeah. All right. Great nice. weekend. The, um, yeah, I think going back to the question for what, you know, did you do a lot of summer research, research in the summer? Uh, when you say the word research, that makes me think of sitting behind a computer and doing my famous spreadsheets, if you listen to any of the other podcasts. Uh, that research had already been done. So then when the summertime starts coming around, this is really the time that I did like college tours. Uh, so I basically made a roadmap, which is hopefully a feature that's going to come to College Express at some point. It's been in the works for a long time. But basically plans out, if you're in the area, what is the shortest distance between the colleges. <laughs> And then you're able to drive from one college, visit it, go to the oh, next college, cool. and then come back, yeah. and it gives you the shortest route. Uh, so that's basically what I had done. I mapped everything out, and I just started in New Hampshire. I ended up all the way up in Vermont and mm -hmm. Burlington, and then came back down with that. I ended up in New York for a little bit, too, which RIT, crazy big school. And um, Facts. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, insane, especially when you look at it between uh, Champlain and Burlington, and then you go to the Rochester and RIT. <laughs> yeah. It's out of control. <laughs> But that's uh, what I did, where it was, okay, here's the program that I wanted to get into, and here's all the schools in the area that offer it. I'm going to go, and we talked briefly last time yeah. on the podcast about how important actually going to the campus is, and if you can't go to it, do a virtual tour. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can do it on a Oculus Rift or something like that, it's even better because you get more of a feel oh, of it. Cool. Uh, so tr definitely try to get into that scenario uh, with the social media, connecting with the student that's there. You mentioned going up and actually yeah. staying there for the writer's program. 
try to connect with the school and, and amplify your research that you've mm -hmm. already done because when you're going into senior year that's really when everything's in high gear mm -hmm. and you decision want, time you want to know so this is I would say more important to get the right feel yeah and be good rather than how much research we're doing it's yeah. a more feel than so you guys were uh, planners and you're smart. I was a procrastinator. <laughs> so uh, I'd say the research came fall of senior year. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I did go to one school in Maine. I went to UMaine or now and I stayed like the weekend because it was a five hour drive there. Yeah. Um, so that was pretty nice because not only did I get to see the campus, but we went out in Orno as much as we could. There's not much in Orno. And, um, <laughs> so I got to see Just like, like the Burlington. city around. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was nice. Um, but no, I had wished that I had done some more research. I had, like, ideas of schools I wanted to go mm -hmm. to, and I think I was nervous to stray too much. I kind of stayed in the New England area. I also didn't think I could go to school in the South. I'm like, my mom won't let me go down there. Turns out she would have let me go down there, so ask your parents. <laughs> <laughs> or don't, and do it anyway. True. Um, no, just seriously, apply. ask your parents. Yeah, just apply, and then they'll be like, oh, you're going to school in Florida? Oh, yeah, you don't approve too late. Um, <laughs> Snooze you lose. Yeah, but that's, you know, I really like the road trip idea. And we'll talk about later, like, things you can do during the summer no, yeah, that are, like, awesome. fun. Yeah, but seriously, college I road I trip. I to do that. Yeah, well, flash forward to me being 30 now and <laughs> wanting to do a road trip across the country to go to every theme park and mapping that up. So really? That's exactly what I was just about Is to there say. room in the car? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to be... <laughs> be very tight, but we'll make it CX bus. CX bus. Uh, CX yeah. bus. Renting what, what, an RV. An RV. What's the name of that movie? RV. Yeah. Is that literally, is that literally <laughs> the name of the movie? <laughs> um, but wow. yeah, so like, <laughs> road trips good to one, do, <laughs> do <laughs> campus yeah. is a, uh, a really good like research thing. Um, also doing it's programs. Like, sure. um, yeah. I mean, the most Ivies, I think, have summer like pre-college programs, and not just Ivies, but uh, other schools have like pre-college programs or programs that are on campus for students that aren't matriculated. So that's really good for you to go on campus, and even if you just take like a seminar or something like that at a community college or your local state school, um, then that way you're getting into it and you're starting to experience a little bit of college life, and you're still open to like doing other fun stuff with your summer because who wants to sit in school for the whole summer? Nobody. That's, what <laughs> that's why I like Well, there might be one person, maybe. Not me. Because the school is like, air conditioned. All right, shout out. Yeah. Shout out <laughs> but did you guys like know what program you guys wanted to go into going into your junior summer into senior year? For college? Year? I did. For college, yeah. yeah. I, I did too. Yeah. Care and yeah. are kind of unique in that scenario. Yeah. You guys are doing it? Are you guys doing what you wanted to do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Currently, they're in the program right now. I want to be there. Clearly, he's doing I it. wanted to be a pirate, but they said that that was illegal, so, oh, well. Next time. Next lifetime. Monday pirate. <laughs> you know what they say? Rules are just meant to be broken, right? Yeah. So, so be a pirate. Space pirate. <laughs> space pirate. There we go. Space pirate. I'm all about that. So did you not know what you were going into? Like, No, I had no idea. Honestly, when I was... Uh, uh, when I was making my college decision, um, my mom actually did a lot of the research for me. And she basically, she's so, she's so type A and I'm more like type B when it comes to that kind of stuff, the research stuff. And I, my, a lot of my time was taken up because I was playing uh, baseball over the summer. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, sounds bad to say I was prioritizing sports over the college church. But, you know, I was still involved. Me and my mom, we kind of double teamed it and we were figuring out just kind of like which schools that we're going to go into and I remember uh, the biggest influence that I had for myself I have two older cousins that are both twins and they were just going into college right about the time that I was going to high school so for me uh, they were having a conversation with my dad and I took one direct quote to heart they said that business is the degree you get if you don't really know what you want to do <laughs> So, <laughs> I, being little old 14-year-old Brendan Pounds, decided, hmm, business is what I want to do. Why? Because I have no idea what I want to do. So, I was looking up a bunch of different business schools, which is how I ended up at Bentley in a lot of my college uh, visits. I ended up going to the three Bs, Babson, Bryan, and Bentley. Those are my three Bs. For business. For business. Yeah, for business. Mm -hmm. Yes, for business. Yeah. Very, very distinct. 
But those for are Brendan. all New England. <laughs> for Brendan. Wow. Brendan only does things <laughs> that Keep rolling. What else do we got? And he's baseball. baseball. <laughs> and I play baseball. And I like the Boston Red Sox. There you go. <laughs> and the Boston Bruins. And the Bruins. Yeah, go Bruins. Shout so out. Many days. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so you said baseball, like a big summer, right? That's what you were doing for summer? Oh, yeah. Did you, when you went to college... Still kick with baseball or? Oh, see, that's the awkward part. Is <laughs> no, I was. Uh, I actually that summer I went on a recruiting trip to Franklin Pierce, and what it ultimately came down to for me personally was Franklin Pierce and potentially play baseball, or Bentley. And I had sent all my recruiting stuff over to Franklin Pierce. I thought I was going to go to Franklin Pierce, and then the financial aid package came in for Bentley. Yep. And I got cut from the Bentley baseball team. So, did not. Sad story, but, you know, it's, uh, it's what it is. Still playing now, and it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. We still want you on our wiffle ball team. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's coming out. Yeah. Wiffle ball. Next week. Wiffle yeah. ball. We're next playing wiffle ball Tuesday. next week. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. So, I'm not very good at baseball, so that'll be interesting. But that's good. We'll be on Brendan's team. Oh, you <laughs> don't need to be that good. But, yeah. yeah, we'll be on Brendan's team, and okay, he yeah. can carry oh, the team guys, for us. You guys are just pumping my tires today. I really appreciate that. Pumping <laughs> my tires. That's the first time I've heard that. I like that. It's it's me, you said now. Learning all the new lingo here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but yeah, that summer was just the visits to the to those three Bs. I really wish I did that. That. Um, road trip idea that you were mentioning that sounds like a ton of fun yeah it's it's fun uh it's awkward too uh because at that point i was with my folks uh so it's who isn't when they're in high school right yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. Right. That's, that's what i mean it's it's fun to a certain mile and then it's pressure and what do you think of this and a lot of questions get flown out. so that uh, is unique especially if you uh are like me and uh, like for example rit was one of those schools that we just drove through and immediately it was like, yeah, this is not, <laughs> yeah. not for me. That ain't and, it. Uh, yeah, we should at least go in and check it out and uh, was completely fine. See, my parents <laughs> did the opposite. We drove on to UMass Dartmouth's campus and I said, no. And they were like, we drove all the way down here. It was like a half hour from where I live. Yeah. They're like, we drove all the way down all here. Way. <laughs> so we're going to go to the open house. You're going to do all this stuff. And I walked on campus and we went into the auditorium and they did their presentation. And I was like, we're leaving because I'm not going here. Yeah. Well, when you know, you know. That's yeah. That's true. Yeah. A big thing. Yeah. Time's valuable. How many schools did Which you go to on your go? road trip? Um, I'd have to check, but it was about seven to ten in that ballpark. Yes. Um, How far away did you look? Uh, well, we went all the way. Well, this was just for New England, so. Um, did you do outside of New England too? Not for the road trip. Um, we went out to California. That was. I'm trying to think when we did that. I don't think that was that summer, but I did travel to a few places just to check them out too, and that's because we had friends and family that lived out there, and uh, that ended up not happening either. And. We talked about College Fit was, yeah. I think, our first podcast that we worked yeah. on. And that was one of the things on my College Fit was I wanted to be at least in driving distance back to my folks and being able to, my girlfriend and now my wife. Uh, Shout out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you'll be here today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, being able to come back on long weekends or on vacations easily instead of having to pay, you know, X amount yeah. for a pay ticket or plane ticket or pay ticket. <laughs> Here's your plane <game> ticket. <laughs> <laughs> So that's, uh, yeah, I feel like I visited a lot in person and really got the feel, which I mentioned earlier, yeah. is, is setting foot on campus or even just driving past and be like, oh, <laughs> nope, for me. drive on campus and say, turn around. <laughs> yeah, window yeah. shopping, no one ever yeah. really buys when we go window shopping either. Yeah. True. That's true. That's why you shop in the windows. You just so shop it sounds outside. like you went on no less than like 13 visits. Yeah, I would say so. Maybe, probably... Yeah, in the mid-20s, I think, all, overall, for everything. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Uh, but, again, I'm older than this group, too, so, like, the web wasn't as big as it yeah. is now, so we had a lot of college fairs and pamphlets and Yeah, I feel like I around. did a lot, too. I didn't go to as many schools as I, like, researched, but I did go on a lot of school tours, and by the end of it, I was stock full of, like, bags and water bottles yeah. and <laughs> flash drives and... I love all the free stuff. 32 megabytes. I still got my St. Mike's bag. I use it every week for groceries. Yeah. St. Mike's was another one. The campus was beautiful, but yeah. just not 
Oh, I liked St. Mike's. That was one of my other choices. Yeah. It was like top four, I think. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know a lot of people that went to St. Mike's, but I think we talked again. You kind of have to when you live in Burlington because Colchester's right there and mm-hmm. I live in Spinner, which is right across right. the river, right next to St. Mike's. So, yeah. You go to the bowling alley up there? I did not go to the bowling alley until junior year. <laughs> what? You know, I spent a lot of time there senior right. year. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, that's where I would run into people that went to St. Mike's. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Yep. How big was your guys' uh, the start of your search? How big was your list? Uh, that's a good question. I think because of how my spreadsheets worked out, I think I, I had quite quite a significant no, amount. We know about spreadsheets. We know about spreadsheets. <laughs> yeah, the spreadsheets are, are where it's at for sure. But uh, yeah, I organization have... tips, spreadsheets, you guys definitely put a doll Excel doc or Google Sheets, whatever you prefer. Yeah, no, I got the Google Sheet. Um, but yeah, I had I had quite a significant amount initially, but then yeah, as it starts cutting things down, especially going through and sorting through the college fair stuff that you get, I mean, like, oh, this sounds interesting. They offer the program that I have. I think that's my biggest issue was I knew what I wanted to do, and so I would just go up and figure out, do you offer this program? Grab a pamphlet and then take it from there. So originally it was like a stack of papers. Yeah. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. How much marketing collateral did you get? And did, was that list basically everyone on that marketing collateral that you got from in the mail? Because you went on 25 visits, can only imagine how big your actual list was to start. Yeah. Uh, well, it's funny too, because working at College <laughs> Express, if you are uh, aware, if you sign up and you select <laughs> it, you like to receive information from the school, it says, yes, connect me is a big green button on all of our school profiles. I was not on the testing server, and I did that with my personal email. Uh, so I still get collateral for uh, <laughs> yeah. the, the schools, which is nice because I can actually keep up and see what schools are doing now. But uh, yeah, that's uh, you just get flooded with Facts. with uh, material, and even um, now they'll even ask for your cell phone number, and they'll text you and say, "Hey, you're interested in an event." Uh, they'll email you. And they'll they'll do anything and everything to try to get in contact and really showcase what makes their school so special. So yeah, that's kind of my up. job. Yeah. <laughs> I messed up my Scantron or they messed up my Scantron or something on the PSAT. So for a year, I got letters addressed to Ka, Joyce. And oh, I'm, like, I'm with you. I'm with you. It was. Like, I didn't go to any of those schools. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm with you. They, they called me Breedan. <laughs> Breedan? Breedan. With two E's? No, it was, well, yeah, right, I, right. Think, I, just, I think just... Oh, there's no N. Yeah, there there's no... Or they might have also forgot the A, but yeah. never have I ever received a college letter that had my name spelled correctly on it. I don't understand that. I always get asked if there's an H in my name, Mackenzie. I'm like, where would there be an H? Yeah, like, how does that Mackenzie? I'm like, I'm, I spell it M A C K E N Z E N Z I E. Where's the H fit in? Why is there a K? Should it be an H? I'm like, an H. That'd be Match Henzy. Mackenzie? Mackenzie? Oh, I guess. I get it. I guess you pronounce it like that, but. I get it. Be careful when you scan is, <laughs> is is the summary here. Be careful where you fill in the bubbles. Fill them in completely and as darkly as possible. Yeah. All capital letters. Yeah. So is the group consensus that was it the summer before senior year is mostly college visits? Yeah. Have done the research usually for the most part. It's mainly just summer. narrowing down the schools. I think you wanted to t- because you don't get that much time off in high school. Like depending yeah. on the school. Yeah. For visits, um, so it's kind of hard to go throughout the year. Mm-hmm. But I did that. It was kind of nice because you could see the kids on campus. But also, if you go like later in the summer, like August, mm-hmm. yeah. some kids are on campus, like the yeah. sports kids, or some kids go back early, so you can go to that and see kids. Did your school yeah. give you like a lot of time off to go on to college visits? You gotta take um, two days off. Yeah, we got two in days the year off. for because college visits. Two. Yeah. How many did you have? I think it was like between three or five. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, they were, yeah. Milford, Milford High, shout out. Did, did good. Did good. <laughs> not going to say my high school one. <laughs> did well. Sorry, did well. <laughs> Their English department did not do well. <laughs> I went into marketing, not English, you guys. <laughs> That's okay. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so our second question is brought to, brought to us by our Instagram handle, at 859 underscore 8i. Uh, shout out any guesses to what that name might be. Uh, the question is, what's the best thing to do during the summer? So, um, I guess in terms of like betterment and how you can do to prepare for your, 
prepare for college and stuff like that? No, no, it was your favorite thing to do. So, yeah. <laughs> well, you can so talk about that yeah, too, but I'm just We'll, we'll get to I'm that later. analyzing <laughs> the question is basically what it's coming down to. No, I'll do the fun stuff first. Yeah. Like, well, I'm all about the fun yeah. stuff. So, well, what do you do for fun? Yeah, what's the best thing to do? Oh, right so have you guys been to Sebago Lake in Maine? No. no. Anybody? No. Oh, they got this island on there. My uncle, first it was my grandfather's house, and then my grandfather sold it to my uncle, but there's this island on Sebago Lake in Maine, Fry Island, freshwater lake, obviously not mm. a big deal. It's honestly the best thing to do. Freshwater, not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. So actually, it's really cool because they have this big rock. It's, uh, there's like two different levels that you can jump off of it. One's like a 35 foot hop and the other one like actual like A people. rocket? Rock. Oh. Like a big boulder. <laughs> like we're the granite state of the rock. <laughs> <laughs> No, but actually, it's funny, though, because uh, translating into college, um, I actually wrote my college essay based off of jumping off of that rock. Awesome. I called it a leap of faith. No pun, ah. pun completely intended. Yeah. So I was terrified of heights, took the jump, and uh, yeah. Nice. Good metaphor for life, you guys. Yeah, really if you need metaphor. an idea for your yeah. college essay, still yeah. <laughs> yeah, just write Go to Maine. Maine. <laughs> Go to Maine, jump off the rock, and see how you feel. Sebago oh, Lake. Yeah. Sebago Lake in Maine. Definitely yeah. favorite vacation spot growing up. I don't know, what about you guys? What do you guys like to do? That's, uh, I, I can definitely go off the lake stuff for sure. Yeah. Because uh, growing up in fancy little Pelham, New Hampshire, my buddy used to live on little pond, little island pond. Well, I'm not even going to get it right. <laughs> um, <laughs> freshwater? It's, it's just, yeah, it's a freshwater pond, Shout out. this tiny, <laughs> tiny pond. Um, but we had a little speedboat that if you cranked it, you would make it to the other side in 15 seconds. Like, it was very small. But we had a uh, wakeboard, which uh, for the first time ever tried doing that when we were kids. And so I used to snowboard. I love snowboard. I still snowboard today. And it's a completely different experience to try to get up on a wakeboard. Mm -hmm. And so once we figured that out, it was a lot of fun. We ended up getting like the extension pole. So like, when you go off the wake, like, everything was amazing. Uh, and tubing is... It, one of my favorite things to this day still is just a, a ton of fun. So whipping people around, and uh, we all got our driver's license for the boat. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. We like, license, heck yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. Just do the stupid who can, like, whip the boat and park it onto the dock oh, the best. Nice. Um, Did you do, like, so the two tubes tied actions? to the back? So, like, when you come and they just, like... Like yes. bumper cars. And smash into one another. You jump on the axis yeah, yeah, super or something. You guys are mad men. <laughs> yeah, I wish you had yeah, done that kind of stuff. Jeez. So yeah, uh, that is probably where I spent the most amount of my time growing up was on that pond because he lived there. And uh, other things for summer though is if it's too hot, <laughs> go bowling. <laughs> uh, bowling's the best. Yeah. Shocker that Tyler's yeah. recommending we go bowling. Bowling's a lot of fun. So. What's yeah. your favorite bowling alley? Favorite of all time? Yeah. All time. That it, well, that's a trick question. Uh, <laughs> I, well, Kings is definitely a solid yeah. just because of the built-in bars. Uh, but I really do like the new Wamaset. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been there. Tuxbury? Yeah. What? I'm from Tuxbury. Have you been there? I go yeah. there all the time. All right. Oh. Wamaset's pretty awesome. Are you a candle um, pin bowler? No. I mean, you know. Oh, candle pin's so much no. fun, guys. No. Only in New England. <laughs> no. I mean, like, I do regular bowling, too, but Is candle, candle pin's pin only in New England? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Really? Duck, yeah. duck pin's like a weird one, too, that if you're in Kinetic. I don't even know what duck pin is. Yeah, I don't know if I've talked about it here before. Maybe you I have, have not educated us. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> duck, duck pins are us. very bizarre crossbreed between ten pin, which has like the big, like when you think the pins that yeah. got the shape. Oh, yeah. um, but duck pins a smaller pin of that, and you're using candle pin balls. Oh, that's fun. Bizarre. Yeah. Uh, my dad used to do that's that in the league. <laughs> so uh, yeah, nice. very bizarre, but. I find yes. bowling. Bowling's yeah. my jam. So uh, I think my favorite of all time is probably Kings. My favorite one to go to is Brunswick and Lowell. Yes. Is that the one we went to? Yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. It's a good place. <laughs> it's a good, solid, solid place. Got flooded back in the day. Did it? And yeah, got renovated. Got to fix it up. Was it for the better? Yeah. Was it for the better? Uh, <laughs> Did it need the renovations? Not really. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I feel like it's the same, but. Nice. Yeah. So I guess going back to summer, yeah. <laughs> I guess bowling in summer, but yeah. for my family, we go up to Canada, because that's where my Ooh, mom's Canada. from. Eh? Yeah. Eh? I have a bunch of family, <laughs> eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a good joke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever made that joke to you No, before. not yet. <laughs> so it's like a 12-hour drive. We go to oh. Prince Edward Island. Oh, oh. The island's oh pretty Prince cool. Edward. Have you guys been? No, but I, I love Anna Green Gables. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Anna Green Gables is huge, uh, but the... 
whole island, it's, I forget what it is, but the beaches are all red clay instead of sand. That's interesting. Because it's like the iron in the air. Um, so those can be fun and dirty, especially if you have a dog uh, running on the beach. Yeah, Bernie would be fun yeah. to clean after going on the beach. Bernie, feel the burn? I don't think you that... like dirt in our backyard right now from the patio. is like Ooh. a nightmare. He comes in and his beard is just Just all... shakes inside the house. <laughs> Is he getting better with other dogs now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were talking about that uh, before the podcast uh, in the last meeting, you, yeah. you and I, where um, he's great with other dogs now. He's pretty good with adults, more so females than males. And then he <laughs> hates children. <laughs> like, does not do well with children. Competition. At all. Yeah. It takes all the attention. He just gets scared. He backs up. He's not oh. aggressive or anything. But. So. I just got a new puppy. Oh, what? what kind? A Pomeranian Husky mix, Pomsky. Oh, no. Why way. hasn't it we met him? It is the cutest That's what little I was thing. Before Bernie. <laughs> was it really? Yeah, no <laughs> yeah. His name's Scout. He's about nine weeks old now. So that's what I'm going to be doing a lot in the summer is nice. taking care of the Get dog. Get a puppy in the summer. Get yeah, a puppy. play with the puppy. Heck yeah. Take him to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> um, not the one into the not the one. <laughs> yeah, not yeah. in Canada. I would recommend adopting, though. Uh, most of them are pre-potty trained. Uh, Hashtag so. adopt, don't shop. Adopt, it's also don't way shop. cheaper if you adopt through, like, a... Mm-hmm. Um, by, like, thousands. Yeah. But, yeah, seriously, by, like, we're thousands. We're looking right now, and it's pretty expensive. So yeah. we're, like, looking into adopting. MSPCA, I think, it may have gone up, but it was, like, 150 or 200, and they... The shots are included, and um, spaying and neutering is included too. So, adopt a shop, save a puppy. Yeah, yeah, save yep. save a life. So I guess that's what I'm yeah. doing this summer: looking for a dog. Nice. Ooh, yeah. adopting um, or shopping? Probably adopting. Nice. Oh, because we're guilting not, you into it. No, but I'm not, not gonna lie. Not Scott really was shopped. out shopping. I was going to lie, yeah. My mom can be a little uh, strict when it comes to what kind of dog the she breed. wants. Yeah. She wants a dog that doesn't shed. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So, so reeling it back to the question. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have always, like, worked during the summer. I um, would go to a dance camp for the beginning of years of my life, and my family always has a Ooh. reunion down the Cape. Um, so those were, like, Ooh. the things that I did. And I, like, volunteered at the dance camp for a year, and then I started working when I was 15 bright and early but like I I also did a lot of like different fun stuff so we would always go up to Canopy Lake Park which is a theme park up in New Hampshire (laughs) so is that the delay (laughs) that's always fun (laughs) oh my gosh it's so great summer Friday let's all go oh yes yeah I'm 100% Heck about yeah. it. Dunkin' Donuts usually has the coupons. Uh, or is yeah. it McDonald's? McDonald's yeah, McDonald's has the coupons. Or um, Market Basket. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. I do like Market Steal a stack of coupons. Just grab them and go. The whole office will go. Yeah. So um, doing things like that, like. Are you kidding just me? That fun little like road trips. Great activities <laughs> committee thing. Yeah. Is anyone here on the activities committee? Nope. No. Ooh. Nope. Are you? Suggestion box. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Throw it in the suggestion yeah. box. Water country, yep. water country. Oh, wait, that's not going to be like that. No, I went to water country so like two years ago. It's kind of gross now. Oh, great. Is it? Maybe because we'll I'm go. older, so like all the kids are really young and they all just seem like sticky. <laughs> uh, what? Is it? <laughs> gross. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> gross. Also, going to the beach is fun. <laughs> um, my, friend and I, <laughs> my friend and I used Jeez. to go up to Hampton Beach, yeah. but we'd only go at night. Like, Hampton Beach at yeah. night is bomb. It's amazing. It's really cool, Um, especially at night because there's not that many people around. The beach is enormous, and it's always overcrowded during the day. And we would go up there at night, and we would just, like, hang out and, like, do gymnastics, dance on the beach. Uh, At one point, my friend was super, yeah. That way, if you fall, then it's soft. Yeah. It doesn't hurt as much as falling on, like, cement. Do you do the thing where they, like, uh, bury a ball, like a bouncy ball that's, like... (laughs) No, I would hurt you know myself so much. Yeah, but you, know what I'm yeah about. you like dig a hole and you put a yoga ball in there, oh, that's and then it acts like a, like a trampoline oh. almost. No, we did yeah, not do that. that. We were just like, let's do cartwheels. <laughs> what did you get from the twenty-five cent ball machine? Yep. Like, do you guys do yeah, you, you put in. Yeah, you put in this tiny little bouncy ball, <laughs> and then you, and then you fall so right there. <laughs> I'm just picturing like you digging a hole and just. Bearing a ball? You like, put one of those in. Not really. <laughs> no, it's yeah. not a dog. <laughs> it's, uh, what do they call those things? Really? Time capsule. Yeah. Yeah. Time yeah. capsule. Shout out. Give you good memories. Yeah. yeah, except the kid would find it the next day after yeah. they're like digging a hole, trampled yeah. the sand castle. <gasps> Where in the Cape would you go? 
Um, my aunt has a place down in Dennis, so we would go and visit her ooh, there. Yeah. yeah. The what beach? What beach? Huh? Oh, on the map? Yes. It's about like here ish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For those of you that don't know, Massachusetts is shaped like this. So whenever you're talking to someone, you go, We're on the Cape? Do you go? So, like, this is like Provincetown, this is Chatham. Dennis is somewhere like over here. And you also, we would like go to like Yarmouth. No, no, the pit is Fall oh, River. <laughs> Fall River and Falma, that's so like right in the armpit. Involved. Nothing to say about them. <laughs> <laughs> but just where they are on the map of Massachusetts. <laughs> we didn't pick it, they did. Mm-hmm. Well, the founders did. <laughs> but yeah, I think to like loop back into question for... We're talking what, about stuff? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's the best thing to do in the summer? Obviously, we've said what is the best thing to do. But what you should do is a little bit different. We talked earlier in question number one about taking those college tours and actually getting on campus and experiencing that. Also, Kara mentioned getting the job. Yeah, work. So It's fun. Work, get paid. You can use that towards your college. Uh, and that's going to be extremely helpful. Also, it's disposable income, so you can go out and actually do those things and not have to worry about... Gas is expensive. Gas, gas is actually, is I think, cheaper than when I was in high school now. Because I think it's a little yeah, bit cheaper, just, but just it's still... Yeah, 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 it's not $4 like it used to be. Yeah. Oh man, that was a nightmare. So yeah, you get get some disposable income, then you can go out, you can have fun with your friends Definitely. and not worry about it. But at the same time, you can be saving towards the, the bigger, which is college, and helps out in the financial aid. So especially if you uh, don't want to get a job during college, because yeah. some people, I don't know, can be overwhelming to have yeah. a job as well as be, being in school. So like I worked, I tried to get a job in college, but I couldn't find one. Yeah. So I worked <laughs> mostly in the summer, and I had to save up. For yeah, that was my thing too. Is that I got. I worked a job where I had eight hours every two weeks. So that was, I got like 40 bucks every two weeks to um, pay for groceries my sophomore year. And that was Mm -hmm. not enough to pay for groceries in my sophomore year. So I like saved up the whole summer before. And I was working a job where I got a lot, I was a tour guide, so I got a lot of tips. So I was like saving up tips too and trying to like, whenever I went home, just be like, oh, do you guys have tours for me? Can I, like, what can I do? Yeah, for sure. Summer's a very good time to save up a lot of dough and get ready for college. I did not have to worry about that because I had the job as the school mascot. No. Oh, what? I like it. Oh, now we know so, the man behind the mask. The mask. <laughs> Anybody? Bentley University, Flex the Falcon, Big Blue Bird. <laughs> when nice were you there? Show. How many, what years were you the mascot? 24. I, yeah, 24, 24 wow. years, my entire life. <laughs> Support this. He's been doing pretty well. Yeah, yeah I've, been, I've been pretty well for myself. You should have been telling us where on the Cape you go. Yeah. Yeah. Dennis, I go to Cape. Dennis. That's why I asked. I went to Dennis. No way. Yeah, oh, Mayflower sweet. Beach. Oh. See, there sweet. we go. Yeah, <laughs> see, connections. But, no, the uh, that was probably the best job I've ever had in my life. Just kidding, I really loved working here. But, no, that was actually probably the best job I've ever had in my life. Did you ever get, like, really job. hot? Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. All the time. Yeah. But I had a ton of energy, so it was really nice to blow you? it off. Really? Because, yeah. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't mean I don't know in a bad way. You have really great energy. I don't know what you No, you I have amazing you energy. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I recently went to Disney, and they have those people in the costumes. Mm-hmm. Oh, I would not I, be able to do that, though. Yeah, no. Kevin, you know Kevin the bird? Kevin! Child? Yes. He passed out. Really? <laughs> because it was so hot, and they kind of just put a blanket over him, and was like, He's Kevin's dead. sleeping. Kevin's dead <laughs> oh now. Oh, my gosh. Kevin and they, like, passed. dragged him away. Oh, my God. <laughs> Poor Kevin. Because you can't. Like yeah. the illusion, you gotta no, keep it's, it. I mean, yeah. it's, I guess so. It's that true. was I was like, oh my god, get him out of the heat. Yeah. It's I mean, it's That's definitely terrible. it's definitely true how hot it gets in there. I was just thinking, uh, Bentley, our biggest sport there was probably women's basketball national championships, twenty fourteen. Not a big deal. Um, and just going inside the gymnasium and just being around a bunch of little kids. Like, I would do, like, push-ups with, like, a bunch of little kids on top of me and stuff like that. Ooh. And you would just be, like, you would, you would just, like, lose probably 15 pounds in water, <laughs> yeah. you know? And, Ooh. like, six years ago, Brennan, that's probably, like, 50% of my actual weight. <laughs> 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 so, but, yeah, no, it was a, definitely a ton of fun. It was really fun just bouncing around. Be a school mascot if you run cold. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Facts. Yeah. All right, question number three for our podcast today is where can you find programs in rural areas? Now, it depends on what rural area you're in and whereabouts you are, but a lot of rural areas are going to have summer camps. So summer camps are huge, and I mentioned Pelham, New Hampshire back in the day. We had one summer camp in our entire town. 
and we would go there every summer. You meet a bunch of people, you get to have fun and hang out, go on lakes, which we've mentioned multiple times, and do a bunch of different arts yeah. and crafts and all that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of fun. But you may have heard of one thing, it's kind of a secret, it's called the internet. <laughs> so if you jump on the internet and look around, you're going to find a bunch of different programs. It might not be specifically in your area, and unfortunately, parents are working during the summer too, but if you have a bike and it's not too far away, jump on the bike, stay hydrated, and uh, make your way over to whatever the program is, because I feel like a lot of programs are usually not too, too far away. Yep. But if you're in the middle of nowhere in, in Maine, for example, and you're saying there's not too much to do around there, oh. then... Um, <laughs> then you're like pointing me like Tuxbury. I'm like, well... Sebago no, Lake? No, no. Yeah, when you, when you <laughs> Lake the, visit the school up there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that's really what I get anyway. I don't, you guys have any I mean, pro tips? Yeah, hmm. I mean, there's a lot of... I feel like when I think of camp, I think the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. But that could just be me because I, didn't, I never went camping growing up because we lived in the city. We didn't do outdoor stuff. But um, Nature. Yeah, what's <laughs> nature? But I Crash. feel like there are a lot of, like you said, like just a lot of camp programs out there. I know the, the Boy Scouts have a camp that's over by us um, in Bolton. Um, so, oh, I've been there. Yeah, yeah. So like looking at like Boy Scout camps, Girl Scout camps, and, you know, if, even if it's, like, a sleepaway camp, uh, you can try and see if there are, like, counselor positions or, I guess, junior counselor positions because you have to be 18 mm -hmm. uh, for most counselor positions. So, like, look into, like, junior Save counselor positions money. where they will pay you to stay on camp. I was going to say campus. <laughs> to stay at camp and just kind of work through the, through the summer. That way you don't have to worry about, like, oh, mom and dad need to drop me off. Drop you off at the beginning, pick you up at the end. That's a good point, and you bringing up Boy Scouts is a great point too. Or Girl Scouts. I don't know what the equivalent is in Girl Scouts, but um, being an Eagle Scout yep. is a huge deal. So you can use that to your college application advantage as well. What is the equivalent? Definitely. Does um, it brownie Scout? girl. No. <laughs> Never in the Boy Scouts. I stopped after. No Gold Award. Gold Award. That's it. <laughs> what is the Gold Award. I don't think I was ever that. Yeah, I, I never got like a Gold brownie. Award. So, I, yeah, what happens ago? Yeah, uh, it's yeah. Daisy Brownie yeah. Junior, Daisy. and I think it's Cadet. And then... Didn't make it that high. I did not make it that high. I went to a junior. I had the green vest. And that was it. Is I cadet the like one. the equivalent to Boy Scouts? Because you started from... Did you do? I you never did Boy Scouting? Scouts, no. Any, any scouting? I, nothing. You did like... It's cool. like Cub Scouts. <laughs> yeah, it was Cub Scouts, right, but yeah. there's like different levels within yeah. Cub Scout. There's like start off as a Tiger Scout. <laughs> you molt, you like move up to... Uh, maybe, maybe it's Bear Scout. And then, like, Weeblo, I think, is, like, the highest form of being a Cub yeah. Scout. And then... Weeblo? Weeblo. <laughs> I, I think so, anyway. That's how I remember it. I could totally be wrong here, but I remember the word. We're going to have to, like, get a chart. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Girl Scout yeah. and Boy it's Scout. It's yeah. Yeah. So for the Boy Scouts, the, like, highest achievement you can get is Eagle Scout, and you have to do a yeah. whole bunch of stuff for that. Exactly. For Girl Scouts, it's the Gold Award, and you have to do a whole bunch of, like, volunteering and stuff for that, too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, look into those kinds of programs. Um, they're available in your local YMCA. If there you are did, tons of locations. If you did like the volunteer work for like the Cub Scouts, could you like, well, I guess Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, could you complement that with like your National Honor Society? You're asking way work? too many questions. I got no idea. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was not. So I was not that kind of dress yet. Anyway. If you had to do it anyway, it's a good way to do like your volunteer work. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, how would they know? Someone called the Boy Scouts of yeah. America. <laughs> yeah, that's not wrong. Um, I saw you wearing that brown vest. <laughs> 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 yeah. You're clear. You're clear. You're clear. I saw your badges. I saw your badges. Yeah. Those don't count. You have to do another 130 hours of volunteer work elsewhere. Take off the yeah. ascot. <laughs> <laughs> no, like going back to programs for the summer. I feel like if you're looking just for like a summer camp and you want to be like on the water or something, just Ooh. like look up a map and yeah. look for a pond or a lake. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they're bound to have a camp around there. I yeah. didn't really do the like uh, summer camps at the lake. I usually did um, like sports, like a week mm -hmm. of a basketball, volleyball, like sports camps. Yeah, those are fun. Um, those are fun, but I kind of always wish I did like the fun like we get a summer camp, like stay overnight kind of thing. I fell in love with Camp Rock and wanted to go to a camp like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not even going to lie. <laughs> but they don't have those for writers. Or they did, but I was too busy working. Um, Can you imagine that? Like, but like cool. a writer's version? I don't even know how that <laughs> I've written it in my head like ten times. Is it Camp Rock just like band camp? Yeah. Oh. Pretty, eh, well, like, not necessarily. Not... It's like 
Yeah. It's, it's more basic, singing. It's band camp, but not with the, like, school affiliation. Yeah. I don't think I, I, I would, one, definitely would like to go there. Two, would not like to participate. Three, would just rather <laughs> would be, <laughs> would rather just be an audience member He's and a watch watcher. everything. That <laughs> That's legit. Oh, for sure. Um, <laughs> uh, excuse me, I'm a professional shower singer. You're going to be like, do you go here? Can I go here? I'm a watcher. <laughs> 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 the sunglasses on. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm actually trying to be a critique. Thank you very much. Um, I'm, I'm training to be a right. producer. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. There you go. That's fancy. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can also look at Business the programs aspect. that are like away but have a lot of scholarships. So we mentioned earlier the pre-college programs at like Ivy League schools. They have so much scholarship because they're Ivy Leagues. <laughs> yeah. um, and a whole bunch of different places have those programs. So even if it's far away don't just like don't discourage yourself from looking into it because there might be options like grants and scholarships for you to get to those summer programs um also work is a program you can do in a rural area which is cool so <laughs> i feel like if you also do like the pre-college programs like mm-hmm. early high, in high school like uh sophomore and junior year yep. um it's a way to like get that connection with the school yep. if you're looking to go to that school maybe go to one of their summer programs for yep. like three weeks yeah You'll get to know the professors there, too. Did you guys hear about yeah. that kid that just got his uh, degree from Harvard oh, like a week after? After graduating from high school a week before, yeah. yeah now he's going to law school. school. Oh, dang. Yeah. Didn't hear about that. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's a thing. There's yeah. this cool. Do you know where? If you're super uh, smart. Somewhere in Massachusetts. That much I know. Well, must be. Yeah. Right? Well, I guess he took the, the online programs yeah. at Harvard. Yeah, but he was, um, I know it was somewhere in Massachusetts. Oh. That's what he was doing. I want to say something with the B. During the, su- that's where he, that's what he was well, doing during yeah. the summer. He was taking, he was <laughs> doing college classes. Since, since I think it was like, since like eighth grade or something, yeah. he was taking online classes at Harvard and graduated high school with it. Graduated Harvard and... High school. I've been taking them, I just not pass them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's you can do online programs in the summer if you want to do school. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing much. <laughs> this guy's gonna fix the world. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, there's online so you can programs like from Harvard. <laughs> Go to Harvard during the yeah. summer. Yeah. Yeah. You Harvard. can just walk on the campus and just be like, "I went to Harvard this summer." I went to Harvard two summers in a row. I didn't take classes, but I showed up there. (laughs) She showed up, knocked on their door, and they said no. I I was at Harvard Commencement like six years ago. For fun? Yeah, I was volunteering, but I was there. (laughs) It was fun. Oprah was also there. Uh I did not meet her. Yeah. Yeah, but for rural, you can still graduate from Harvard because the programs are online. So Use the interwebs. Online, the interwebs. Definitely the interwebs. They don't need to know. (laughs) Yeah, right? Yeah. (laughs) The last question is, what are your plans for the summer? And this one is by HTTP dot totally insane. Okay. Dollar! <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to follow that. You what? I'm going to follow that. You're going to follow that? <laughs> totally insane. That's awesome. Let's be crazy. I have high expectations, HTTP dot totally insane. Just so you know. Probably we hope private. for insanity. Yeah. Mm. Um, so totally my, <laughs> my plans this summer. Um, I have two weddings to go to. Oh, Are you in one of the weddings? No, both of the weddings. No. Family weddings Neither or one. friend weddings? Uh, have you seen Wedding Crashers? <laughs> no, I have seen Wedding Crashers. That's Great not movie. what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, one is actually tomorrow. I don't know if that's considered like summer. Yeah, um, it's after Memorial Day. Technically, summer. June 21 yeah. is the first so, day of not summer. Not really summer, so but the, one the second one is in July. So that summer. <laughs> For uh, sure. Can't confirm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here in the summer. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully, still. Um, today's your last day. Today, yeah, <laughs> just Thanks. in case you didn't know, whoops. <laughs> last podcast, just going hard. Uh, Jeez. My family has a beach house in Hampton. Uh, Humble brags. Love it. <laughs> so we're going up there for a week for the 4th of July. Just a nice. week? I'd be up there all summer. Will we share it with all my um, cousins on my dad's side? Yeah, and my dad has out. five... <laughs> I don't know that's how it works, but <laughs> we have a lot of cousins and a lot of family, so everyone gets like one week during the summer, and oh, it's cool. just enough. And then I'm going to Canada in August for my grandparents' 60th anniversary. Oh! Nice. Yeah, 60 years. So we're all going up there on my mom's side, so nice. it's going to be a lot of people in Canada. 12-hour totally. drive with everyone. Ooh, get on the bus. 
get on a bus. party bus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Be like, Joe, can I borrow the bus? I'm going to Canada. <laughs> We don't have a we bus. We still need to get the bus. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get the bus. Just okay. gonna do a toy. Canada tape and a wedding. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. So, are you like a are you friend in the wedding or family in the wedding? Uh, well, the one that's actually in the summer, it's my cousin getting married. Nice. The one tomorrow is my boyfriend's brother. Oh. So. Whoa. Just a background person. <laughs> You're the <laughs> plus one. No? Yeah, <laughs> just a plus one. That's nice. not important. Nice. So, yeah, that's fine. What are you doing, Tyler? Uh, so, first things are the patio is getting set up right Ooh. away. So, I moved into my house last year, I think. That sound, sounds about right. I don't know if it's I think so. about a year. I ruined your floor about a year ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah. I spilled yeah. seltzer water all over his brand new kitchen October, floor. No, it was in July, yeah. So, that, make, that checks out. So, yeah, we've been in the house for about a year. We haven't done too much on the outside of the house. A lot of the renovations have been inside of the house. And the plan is, one, to finish our patio paver area, which I'm doing all by hand and it's taking a lot longer than anticipated. And the good news is the pavers were delivered on Wednesday of this week. The bad news is I'm gone this weekend. So uh, I guess that's another thing I'm doing is going to Foxwoods to gamble, which is irresponsible. <laughs> wait until you turn 21. <laughs> yeah, wait until you're 21 and be responsible. It's only an issue if you lose. And uh, then when I come back the returning weekend will be the pavers. So I still have to level the sand, put this well, put the sand in, level all the sand. Then we have a base and then we're putting the pavers down and then we're going to be moving stuff down so grills will be in full swing and session for the barbecues of the Ooh. summer which will be happening quite a bit because i like to grill all the time this guy's also a pro grill master he took over yeah. for me at the uh, can't confirm last. so uh, i assume barbecues are in your future oh man i really like this podcast a lot of tire pumping <laughs> a lot of tire pumping <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think of like some big things that are going on, but uh, we're putting up a brand new fence, so we'll have a six foot vinyl fence around the house, and that'll be a uh, very nice white vinyl. Uh, Good for Bernie. Bernie, yeah. The dog's going to be happy taking Bernie to the park a lot, and on trip wise, we might be going to San Francisco towards mm -hmm. the end of the summer to visit Patrick. So, uh, PK, if Star? you're watching, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's my buddy that went to Champlain with me, and we do freelance work to this day together. Good guys at my wedding. Uh, nice. So, that's uh, a song. How many people did you have in your wedding? I feel like every podcast you're talking about in the wedding. I was in the wedding. To wedding. I had, well, so, <laughs> we had eight, like two weeks after people, I really started. Yeah, <laughs> we, we had eight people in my wedding party on my side, so and we had eight, so it was 16 plus us, so wow. uh, we had a lot of people in the party, and then we had over 200 invited, Sheesh. Uh, so we had about 180 some odd after everything was said and done. Wow, yeah. it's a good size. Yeah, nice. it was a, the craziest part about that wedding was going around and talking and thanking everybody for coming, oh, yeah. and we did it table by table. Do PSA. Uh, yeah, so I mean, like we did like a, a general thank you once we cut the cake, and that was fine. But then we really wanted to go around and show our appreciation for coming. Up. A lot of people were flying in from all over the world. Uh, Dang! So, yeah, we gave a gift away for the furthest traveled, which ended up being Australia. Were so. you going to most popular in high school? No, <laughs> that was <not. laughs> It's funny. I always joke about that with um, working here, like doing the events outside of work. Tyler and, knows everyone. Yeah, uh, I definitely picked that up from my father because uh, he just kind of, I don't want to say the word something, but he's a very good um, straight shooter when it comes to talking. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So. Nice. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, that's cool. I'm boring. I'm working. Um, all summer. I think we're I all just, working yeah. this summer. No, I don't, but like, I'm not doing like anything fun I mean, outside of work. I'm not working. Mackenzie's out. I'm not working. Today's your yeah. last day. I got fired. No, I am <laughs> That's pretty much all I've done since I was 15 is just, like, work. Um, work. Work, work, more work. Um, I'm going to try to go see song? a couple Sox games. Is it a Rihanna song? Yeah. Work, 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 work. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm I working. I just finished. Uh, is that Rihanna? Yeah. yeah. Can we confirm? Yeah, it's Rihanna. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I, I'm a country music I actually guy. just heard that's not how you pronounce your name. Oh. Rihanna? It's Re... It's, no, it's... Re yeah, it's Rihanna. Rihanna. Right? Sorry, we Rihanna. We have a right. Rihanna, and she took us in. True. Sorry, Rihanna. I yeah. apologize. <laughs> if you ever hear this, if you listen to the College Express podcast, which you should. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe. She definitely like. listens to us. Yeah. 
So, yeah, I'm going to be working, probably catch a couple of Sox games. Oh, I um, work there. Yeah, got to run into You Brennan, work hopefully. there? Yeah, right now? I work for the Sox, yeah. yeah. Side Part hustles. Time. They rock. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, they the guys that, like, hold the stuff above their head and walk up and down the, the aisles. stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, a, like a vendor. <laughs> the yeah. Hot dogs here. Get your hot dogs. I'm dog. like, this no, guy no, must be sweating. Yeah, oh, they are. He's walking all day. Especially, like, the hot dog guy. He's holding that above his head. But... My official job title, I'm a Fenway ambassador. Um, just make sure that people are having a good time at the games yeah. and stuff like that. That's, That's a fun sad. thing to do. So if you're not having a good time, go just see Brendan. Buy. Yeah. Oh, we <laughs> have leave. We do, we do yeah. have internships every summer. <laughs> I don't think they're paid internships, though, but I think we have a lot of high schoolers that end up working for us, too. So If, you, uh, uh, if just you're in the Boston area, yeah. if you're in the Boston area, there's something to do with your summer. It's a really good thing to do for your summer. So. It's, Honestly, probably the best atmosphere yeah. for the the summer is like night games at Fenway Park. Just being in the yeah. just being in the neighborhood, it's just, just beautiful. I feel like even in general. Sorry. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say even if you're not in the Boston area, yeah. just like travel up here. Yeah, you know, spend the summer. Way to be a Red Sox yeah. fan. <laughs> I feel like in general, that's just like World such Series a fun jams. thing to do in the summer. Shout out, yeah. Is like work for a sports venue. Facts. Um, or Not a concert fun. venue. I had a friend that did security back in the day, and he I would run yeah, into him at all the concerts, and he'd be like, what up? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing during the oh, summer. I'm going to see the Jonas Brothers. Oh, let's <laughs> so go. excited. The Sucker Tour. What's it? Is it the Sucker Tour? Is that happiness what Begins. Oh, the Happiness Begins. But that's their new <laughs> song, is Sucker. Yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. <laughs> that's the new song, is Sucker. So, like, I feel that. I get it. Oh, I'm so excited. The new album comes out next month, next week. Can't wait. <laughs> Sing it, Kara. What? No, I'm good. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm also Soccer. a professional uh, watcher when it comes to music. Professional watcher. Yeah, <laughs> <not some> watchers. <laughs> when it comes to music. But yeah, concerts are super fun. I'm looking at like other concerts I can go to that are smaller and cost less money. Facts. Did you guys take advantage of that week uh, weekend, that one week where you could buy tickets for $20? I didn't have anyone that I liked available for 20 bucks. They had, good ones. They had a lot sad. of good country artists. I was yeah, very I'm fired up about country that. person. Mm. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Mm. I don't seek it out. Even if you don't We're love country, their apparently. concerts are still fun to go to because it's just like oh, the I went to Country really Fest. Up. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've only been to like two. Especially in the summer. Concerts Summer's yeah. like men for country concerts. That's not wrong. Yeah. You so go to country concerts. country concerts. What? What did you say about country Summer, concerts? it's like, it's men for country concerts. Oh, yeah, concerts. yeah, yeah. It's facts. Yeah. Because every single song is in the country. Is literally Something about, about in yeah. the sun. Yeah. Tailgate. Fun in the sun. <laughs> But that's why I like country music. Anybody else country music fan? I am. I think I would have been, but I worked at discount. Did you say just kidding? No, no, no. Oh, I was wait. like, that's kind of what I It's like, hey. Pick me. Yeah. You're not. You're definitely not. Uh, no, I used to. He's be. a jazz. And I do love jazz. Ooh. <laughs> Call back to our old podcast. So. <laughs> but uh, smooth jazz and ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> It's the that's the perfect I'm thing to do with your I'm, summer. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. the, uh, I worked at Discount Madness for... <laughs> what is that? Since I was 16 and then all the way throughout college, so by the time I left I was 22. Does that make sense? And they just played country music nonstop all day, so it got to the point where if I didn't know the song, I knew who sang it. And then I just never kept up with it. <laughs> you worked I'm really bad about artists. No, uh, um, so the one in Tuxbury is called Preferred Distributors. Arthur owns both of them, and Discount Arty. is in that one. Because that one's here. going out of business in Tuxbury. Oh, oh is it? I think yeah. condos oh. are going to be going out there eventually. Oh, it's always the condos. Oh, it's the circle of life. I worked there like on the summer, I forget what year it was, but Bobby Reese and I used to go down there and help out at that shop if they needed it and then come back. But What was your favorite summer job? Greenhouse of Discount Madness. Shout out. Nice. It was awesome. Yeah, just hanging out at water plants all day. Got bit. That's actually a really good question. <laughs> What's everyone's favorite summer job? Yeah. What's your favorite summer job? Oh, uh, mascot. Yeah. Oh, wait, did I even do that during the summer? I don't <laughs> think so. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> oh. What's yours, Kara? Freedom Trail Tour Guide. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. Yep, yeah, that's still my side hustle, but I, lo- I used to, that's what I did throughout college, was just tour guiding for the summer. It was tons of fun. I met people from all over the world. I made friends, like, I was going on a semester abroad in Ireland, and I met this fa- this group from Ireland, and I was like, let's meet up when you were over there, and it ended up falling through because Facebook did that thing where they hid messages from people you weren't friends with, what? and I didn't see that until I came back, and he's like, oh, yeah, let's meet up when you're in Dublin, and never happened, and I'm very um, mad, but it was still great to, like, meet all these cool people. 
So nice. yeah, that makes a lot of sense. yeah, cool. highly recommended. So can, you, can you spit us like good five fun facts about the Freedom Trail in, in Boston? Yes, you should go on a tour to take it. <laughs> oh dang! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, no freebies here. <laughs> the Freedom Trail exists. It's yeah, in no Boston. Free, yeah, it's and no I saw free, yeah. it in Boston. No, it ain't. <laughs> Yay, America. <laughs> How much does it cost for the Freedom Trail? $14 for adults, 12 for students, seniors, 8 for children. All right, cool. So it's the $14 uh, dumb trail. What? No. What? For, for any... Freedom, $14 dumb... Sorry, dad joke. Oh. <laughs> I didn't Did know the land. first part, so I was like, no. what is he saying? Yeah. <laughs> Did not land. What's number one? So I had four summer jobs at some point, Jeez. like throughout, since oh. I've started high school. Hated all of them. Oh. So I guess the like one that I hated the least, <laughs> um, I worked <laughs> at a country club for three or four years, and I was a banquet server. So I got to do, like, weddings, uh, brush up, bridal showers, I can't say the word right now, birthdays, like, events like that. That's pretty um, cool. Yes. So it was long hours. Usually it was, like, 10, 11 hours on my feet for weddings and stuff, but it was kind of cool to see yeah. Yeah. and interact with, like, the yeah. people for weddings. And you always have stories after working a wedding, mm-hmm. dealing with someone. All right. I had one oh, guy yeah. spit on hey, me. Come on. Wow. Let's That's give us, terrible. let's roll it. I had a guy spit on me once. I'm so sorry. Like, directly or indirectly? Well, I guess it was on my shoe, but it was directly on my shoe. Oh like, my he gosh. spit, like, two spit on my shoe. Should have bite your thumb at him. Bite my thumb? Yeah, have you heard yeah. that? Like, Hamlet, so I bite my thumb at you. Yeah. Yeah. See? See? Yeah. See? Yeah, that's uh, High schoolers <laughs> will get that one. Well, that's in the remake of the movie. I just remember how ridiculous that was. <laughs> it's my favorite. I yeah, love it so much. It's ridiculous. Oh like, what's happening? I'm uh, so happy you got that reference. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. No, I didn't do that. It's <laughs> like the old school middle finger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just smiled and walked away, actually. I also worked on a dock for summer. It was great. <laughs> Just say thank you. Be like, oh, this is what we're doing. <laughs> Just sitting on each other, okay. That's actually what I was doing, an assistant manager at Discount. One of my favorite things was I was the youngest assistant manager at 18, and my friend Matt was 22-ish at the time. And this woman, we have a strict if you break it, you buy it policy, and it's it explicitly listed in a breakable section. It's all like... Glass candles, uh, vases, like, well, not glass candles, but, like, candle holders, yeah. vases, um, all sorts of things that's just easily broken. So, uh, I hear something, broke. no, I hear something <laughs> drop, it's one item, it goes for, like, two dollars, like, dirt cheap. Come around the corner, not a big deal, I'll just sweep it up. The woman goes, I'm not paying for that, I was like, whoa, yeah, <laughs> now you are. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, you're, you're paying for that, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, I need to talk to your manager. I'm like, I'm the manager. She's like, no, I need to talk to your direct manager. I was like, oh, okay, hold on. I was like, hey, Matt, you want to play manager today? <laughs> Matt is lower than me on the oh. total pole. And he just walks around and he's like, yeah, you get paid for that. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, discount Matt. It's a lot of fun time with it. Yeah. Two dollars, really? Oh, that's yeah, a, that, that was the thing. It's like because I would have just swept it up, not a big deal. But the fact yeah. that I am not paying for that. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I feel like you would just like treat people like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like, right. boom. Yeah, yeah she would saved her two dollars. That's an iced coffee. <laughs> that's yeah. true. You know, actually, an iced coffee is like two fifty. Two. A small. It's, it's almost See, I don't an iced coffee. coffee. So I don't know. Is a small two dollars? I don't know. Small three dollars. I, I never get six. Yeah. Where do you go? Like, Are you a Starbucks answer. girl though? Dung and Donuts. Dunk it, well, dunk that it, seems dunk like I touched a nerve on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford Starbucks. Oh. <laughs> Who can? <laughs> but uh, they got oh good coffee, God. too. Yeah. But what am I doing this summer? Oh, yeah. yeah. I am training my new dog, yeah. Scout, Will Pomsky. I'll photos for you guys. Uh, do you have an wall. Instagram account on <laughs> No? I don't have there's no, there's no, ins- there's no he Instagram does, he account does for College Express. Oh, oh, College yeah, Express, Express yeah. oh. I thought you were just talking about it. Oh. <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you work in uh, digital ads and you don't have the Instagram account? Don't have a LinkedIn. Don't have a website. Um, yeah. Dude, that's like the equivalent of not owning a social security number. I love that. Yeah, I'm off the grid, baby. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Good on you. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot of dog training, a lot of dog training. Um, I'm moving home. Nice. Right? I'm going back home to Milford. Um, Wait, moving out of the apartment that you're Yeah, in? I'm getting out of Somerville. Yeah. Getting out of Somerville. Boston yeah. apartment's really expensive, you guys. Uh, oh, yeah. Definitely back to those summer, job, summer jobs. 
Save up that money. Don't go to Foxwoods and gamble it all away. Go to Foxwoods and make more of it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Is that like a zing attack? <laughs> <laughs> I think the last three times I've come positive, so I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling confident. Yeah, they say it's only yeah. an issue if you lose. But, uh, just kidding, actually probably save up your money. Yeah, no, definitely save up your money. Uh, yeah. Sebago Lake, that's definitely going up there. A lot of rounds of golf, that's definitely on the agenda. Oh, you golf? Going to, of course. We're talking ladies' golf? <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> both? Why limit yourself? Why limit yourself? Yeah. Do both. The girlfriend did beat me last time in mini golf, soft spot. She also hit like five holes in one, so it was like impossible that's to just beat. Unfair. I feel like yeah. girls always win. We're just better. It's yeah. fine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, pitch your nerve there. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I did give her a couple of extra strokes that oh, I shouldn't sure. have done. That's what they tell themselves. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's, that's how I get to sleep at night, you know? Of course. <laughs> it gives me those cold shivers. What else? Hmm. <laughs> We're going definitely going to Sebago Lake from question number one, probably two, and question number three probably squeaked in there as well. <laughs> um, Cape. Go oh, to yeah. Mayflower Beach. Go to Cape. Fax, Dennis, Mayflower Where's Beach. <laughs> oh. Where on your arm? There it is. Not there as big is. as it used to be. Yeah. I think it's here, right? Is this yeah, right? it's like in, on the inside. Yeah. The inside? Like yeah. Right up, right the, inside. the yeah. cusp of the bicep and yeah. the no muscle right there. Let's uh, let's see. What else is on the, the agenda for the summer? Going to a concert. I think we're looking at Florence and the Machine. Oh, nice. I think that's what we're looking at. Um... Just did our Burlington trip, as we did in intros, or whenever we did that. That was a lot of fun. Burlington, <laughs> yeah. Vermont. First time I've ever been. Unreal place. Nice. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool, yeah. It's so nice. Yeah. Did so. you guys get on the lake at all? Oh, we did the, we did a, we did a, like, a lunch cruise. Oh, nice. Those are always do you fun. Know, do you know it's, yeah. which one? It was, like, the Ethan yep. Allen yeah. boat Yep, boat that's, the, um, that's, the, that's the, um, when you graduate from Champlain, yeah. When you graduate from Champlain, they put you on a cruise. Uh, for the senior for senior week, and that's yeah, that's the that's the thing. That's they also do it a night for orientation. Did they do that for you? What? Yeah, yeah, freshman year orientation, we that's all got so on the boat. Fun. It was great because it was a whole bunch of like yeah, 17, 18 year olds like trying to dance on the boat, and it's dark, and we're like we'd never been to a club or anything, so it was uh, great. Do you guys ever find sure. Champ? Champ, oh. of course. I found him every morning before breakfast, looking out at the lake. Just pops up for. You play with me. Yeah. You guys were friends. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that Lake Champlain had a sea monster until I went of on. Of course. Until I went on to that to that nice little boat cruise. Yeah. We also did a what was supposed to be a four point five mile hike, on I think it was Mount Mansfield. It was yep. like the Elephant's Head Trail. Yeah. And uh, that turned into an eight mile hike. We took a couple wrong turns. That'll um, happen. <laughs> it was supposed to be a loop too, and it did. did we uh, we did not was end it up, up a mountain. Car was that, or was it just? A it was a mountain. Oh. Yeah. No, it was a mountain. You know, they don't have hills up there, except in Bur- hill. Burlington is a hill, and then everything around it is a mountain. Yeah. yeah. I took a couple diggers. I was great. not Coming prepared. Back. Coming back is the worst. And no matter what it is, you're going up Mount something. Mount Maine, Mount Spruce. Yeah. Mount Spruce was the worst. I had friends I would go stay at their place because I would, like, we do homework and hang out or whatever, and then it'd be 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. I don't want to walk up the hill. So I'd sleep there the next morning. we go to class, <laughs> and it would be up Mount Spruce, which is like this. Sheesh. And every time you... Cabs was like, steel, though. Yeah. It was like in the in <laughs> dreams where you're like, I'm almost at the end of the tunnel, and then the tunnel gets longer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, Bentley, Bentley University, we had uh, what we called an upper part of campus and a lower part of campus, and we had, we had a hill that you had to climb up. It was probably... I mean, it was a small campus. You could get anywhere you wanted to in about 15 minutes, but going from lower to upper... Which it was it was a pretty good it was a pretty good incline, but we're not talking mountainous over here. Yeah. Fresh freshman fifteen was not really a thing. It was more like freshman ten, thank you to the thank you to that little extra hike that you yeah. have going on. So definitely appreciate yeah. that level of steepness. Yep. Especially after going you're on. Right. If you're looking for colleges, yeah, while you're looking at colleges this summer, check out the landscape. Are you going to be climbing up a lot of hills? Are you going to be climbing up very <laughs> Do they have a bus that will take Do you? Do they no, have okay. a bus? Uh, Is it see, flat? Can you use a scooter or a bike or yeah, roller yeah. skates or something? Burlington allowed you to toss your bike right on the bus. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. Isn't it like UMass Amherst that is like one part of campus is like a 30 minute drive away from another part of campus? I something? would believe it. UMass Amherst is most of Amherst, Massachusetts, except for like, what, two other small a neighborhood. liberal arts colleges? <laughs> and a neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was out that way last year for a wedding, and I drove through Amherst College, and then I looked over, and they're like, you messed that way, and I'm like, no, just, I can't deal no. with that. I graduated with um, 300 people in my high school senior class, mm-hmm. and 30 of them went to UMass Amherst. Sounds so about like, right. Li- literally 10%. Yeah. 10% most, of yeah. our graduating most class of- went to UMass Amherst. I feel like that's like Massachusetts. If you're going to UMass, like I, I just immediately assume it's UMass Amherst, and then they'll be like, "Oh, blah blah blah, lol." I'm like, "Right, that exists." No, I forgot. I forget, Dartmouth. I keep forgetting <laughs> about UMass Bar- Boston. I'm like, In Lowell. "Oh, In Lowell. that's the yeah. one I think of after Shout Amherst as well." Yeah, because I'm from Tewksbury. Yeah, yeah. Tuxbury. I feel like yeah, Dartmouth. There's Tewksbury. It is Tewksbury. It is Tewksbury. 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 Like Tuka Rask. Tuka. Exactly. Oh, the boys, they need to do a little bit better. Uh, what else? What else? Let's see. I right, did a wedding. <laughs> did a wedding. Wedding Any was wedding. fun. Uh, crashed? Did not. Mm-hmm. I was a friend. I was a friend. Friend of a friend. Yeah, friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. Wedding crashed was a great movie. Basically crashed. <laughs> Basically crashed it. No, but it was actually, uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, definitely. What else? I think uh, that might be it. Yeah. Thanks for asking us what our summers are like. No one asks us that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah we appreciate so it. All right, so that wraps up our podcast all about soaking up the sunshine this summer. Thank you for joining us. A special thank you to Brendan, our special guest for today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Thank you for giving your great. insights. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed the ability to learn a little bit about ourselves and what we're doing on our summer, but also what you should be doing in your summer. So if you liked it, please hit that like button. If you have any questions of yours that you would like to ask ours us <laughs> ours and, uh, yeah you can drop those right into the comment section below and you'll be featured on our next podcast and if you do not know i'm going to bring it back is we release it the first week of every month and it's monday tuesday wednesday thursday one question gets read we answer a question it goes live that day and then on friday we post the entire thing for your viewing pleasure heck yeah so if you have any other thing that you want to look up and you can't find it go to collegepress.com we got a ton of articles tons of advice